Okay, now. Here's a uh, funny young comedian. Rich will be appearing at the Improvisation in Dallas, Texas next week. Would you welcome Rich Scheidner? Rich. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's too hot outside to wear a jacket. I'm going to take this right now. Thanks. Thanks. I'm applauding. One guy goes, good. Good toss, Rich. Good toss. <laughs> Helped a friend move this weekend. Boy, that's, uh... It reminded me when I moved to my house a couple of months ago. That's where you find out who your friends are when you have to move from one place to another. But I had lots of friends say they helped me until the day of the move. Then I'd try to round them up. You know, I'm on the phone. Hey, Freddie, you said help with a move. You going to help out or not? Come on, we're moving. Oh, yeah, Rich, I, I, I'd like to help you move, but I, I, I'm in the middle of reading a book, and I, I don't have a bookmark. <laughs> we had men and women making this move. I love guys when women are around to watch them perform a physical activity, because the competition heats up real fast. All right, put the box springs on my back, refrigerator on top of that. Come on, load me up, load me up. <laughs> a couple hours later, reality sets in. All right, everybody. Grab an album. <laughs> watch it, watch it. Here's a double. Get that side there. Get that side. I mean, there are differences between men and women. That's all there is to it. Most women have a different relationship with their hair than guys do. I notice this, especially the way my hair's gone. I know it's happening up there. But sometimes my girlfriend gets diplomatic with me. Oh, your hair's just thinning. <laughs> it's not thinning, it's leaving. <laughs> I'm going to a weight loss program. And I really like it when people I don't know try to tell me this. Hey, pal, looks like you're going bald. <laughs> oh, really? Thanks. <laughs> like I didn't know. Is there any guy here losing his hair who is unaware of it? <laughs> Some guy gets up in the morning, what the hell's going on here? <laughs> My head must be expanding. That's the problem. I'll have to get one of those head reduction operations. <laughs> Bet you have a pinhead with a little tough of hair on top. <laughs> Some women can change their entire outlook on life with a different hairstyle. You know, a woman can go into that salon, Ramon, I feel like a different woman, make my hair reflect the change. <laughs> Comes out, feels better. Guys normally have one hairstyle their entire adult life. A guy doesn't go into the barber shop, Lou, I'm a little depressed today. <laughs> Shave an X in my head. <laughs> it's not helping, Lou, take the eyebrows off. Can you do anything with these nose hairs? Shag them, shave them, do something like that. You see, women will compliment each other when they see a change. You know, the woman gets another hairstyle, her friends will say, that looks great on you. It's a beautiful hairstyle for you. It's great. You know, guys are not like this with each other, you know. And some of you women know this. You've experienced it. Have you ever asked one of your male friends what another guy looks like? Is your friend cute? I don't know. He's a guy. He's a guy. I'm a guy. I don't know what he looks like, right? I don't know what any guy looks like. When I'm in the gym, I look at a locker, look at my feet. I look at a locker, look at my feet. I don't look anywhere else. It's just different with guys with feelings, man. Guys are not, like, real easy to get around with feelings. I think that's one of the reasons why guys create more violent crimes than women do. Because a guy gets a feeling, he acts out on it. You know, a couple of guys arguing over a parking spot, next thing you know, they're having a fist fight. I think women have just as violent thoughts as guys, but they think them out. They work it out. You know, a woman will have a murderous thought, she'll think it through. You know, I'd like to kill him. But if I did... I'd have to get a babysitter for the trial. Guys, we're not allowed to express our feelings openly. We're not taught to be able to do that. You know, like crying. You don't see guys crying like Guys are only allowed to cry if we, like, lose the Super Bowl. <laughs> I don't think a woman wants to be with a guy who's totally cut off from his feelings, you know? The kind of guy that's like, the dog ran away? Damn. <laughs> a whole bag of dog food going to waste. <laughs> Told you we should have got two dogs. Should have got two dogs. Most important thing I can learn to do in terms of my relationship with my girlfriend right now is just be able to listen to her. Just to learn to listen to her. Because, see, guys, we'll listen for a little bit, then we want to solve the problem move on. And sometimes she just needs you to listen. She's got one of those impossible problems, you know. It's like, listen, I understand what's going on. Listen to what's going on. She wants me to be made of honor in her wedding. I love her. We are like friends for life. 
I, I, but I, I hate the guy she's going to marry. I'm going to feel like such a hypocrite if I have to stand up there while she's marrying this guy. Wait, 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 settle down, settle down. This is an easy one. Just tell her to marry a different guy. Let's go eat. <laughs>